Now, a new video has emerged of Roy Halladay's final moments in the air. Even with the new evidence, investigators say it could take another week before they know what caused the crash that killed the former Phillies pitcher. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at Citizens Bank Park with the latest on the investigation. Catherine. Matt, witnesses told investigators that Roy Halliday had been flying his plane low to the water before it crashed. Here at the ballpark, you can see that the memorial has been growing as the investigation in Florida continues. This is a glimpse into Roy Halliday's last moments in the air before he crashed his plane into the Florida Gulf around noon Tuesday. He was flying an Icon A5, a two-seat light sport aircraft meant to land on water. It's really a very lightweight, simplified airplane that has capabilities that are fun to use recreationally. Arthur Walk, a licensed pilot and lawyer specializing in plane crash litigation, says because of the type of plane, a non-flyer witnessing this might misunderstand what's happening. Walk explains a strict training program is required by the company. It's normal for someone to be practicing approaches to landings on the water, even if you don't touch down. The boaters who captured this video rushed to the scene moments after the crash and saw no sign of survivors. The former star pitcher for the Phillies became licensed to fly in 2013 and had logged 700 flight hours. He had his icon A5 for a month. The NTSB spent Wednesday on the water recovering two data recorders. All the pieces were there. Um, most everything was attached, but it was a high energy impact. So the preliminary report on the cause of the crash could come out in seven to ten days, though the full investigation could take up to two years.